Good old Steam Controller. So I've been at this for... What are we at now? Five years? Three months? Five, since since the day it launched, I had it pre-ordered. And as such, I feel like I kind of have a slightly unique perspective on... On some of the things... On feedback, mainly. Like, things that a lot of other people may not be privy to just because of the position that I'm in. You know, having been making profiles, sharing them publicly on a public platform like YouTube and getting direct feedback from how people are using it. And to that end, I just wanted to do a quick little... I wanted to have a quick little chat about the one thing that still surprises me that it seems like people don't understand that the Steam Controller can do. And it is super easy to show you. It's this. This, right here. <laughs> you, you can see that little... Actually, let me... Uh, let's make that bigger. This. This is the tilt binding. And I have lost count of how many times I get comments saying... You know, there's something wrong with your profile. It's broken. It doesn't work. Something is weird. My character keeps leaning. I don't understand what the hell's going on. Why is my character leaning? It's like, well, it's because you're tilting. You're rolling the controller. And that... I'm not bringing that up as a... Criticism of people using it. It's just... Man, did Valve do a terrible job explaining to people what what the controller can actually do. Which, I've mentioned this before, it even brings me back to... I was super passionate about Steam Controller, like, even before it came out, I was on board, and I was following everything, I was reading, in, you know, previews, I was reading all the articles. I had no idea the thing even had gyro until I got it. Maybe it's easy to overlook because it's only a feature for mouse? Which actually kind of, like, why? Is there no way to feed that data to Steam input if it's X input? Like, uh, it just can't read the tilt? I don't, I don't know, that just, it's kind of a weird thing that it's only for mouse. But yeah, you have gyro lean left and gyro lean right. Those are going to be rolls as opposed to your yaw. So if you have a resting position where you're tilting the controller, which this, it has been a problem for me a few times, like if I'm playing on my TV, like if I'm sitting down, like on my bed or on a couch, my resting position might be leaning, you know, leaning, whereas when I'm gaming at my desk, I'm, my palms are on my desktop, so I'm always, it's always flat. But yeah, it's just, it's that. <laughs> Which, I mean, I even, I did kind of move away from that in more recent profiles over the years, just because it, you kind of, you, you end up fighting with the, the gyro mouse. Like, you're, uh, like, I'm trying to hold still and just tilt. It's like, uh, uh, uh. You're still going to end up hitting the, uh, you know, the gyro yaw, which is why I ended up putting it edge clicks like this on the right pad. But, I mean, over the years, that is a feature that I've I've used. Uh, I, I mean, that, ooh, that even just reminds me. Okay, so here starts a ramble, because that, I've been having this frustration in Star Citizen. I would like to have lean be an analog roll, and you can't do that if you have, like if I had this, let's get that out of the way, like if I had this gyro left binding go to an action layer, where on that action layer the gyro is analog, horizontal only, that feels amazing, it feels great for you know, an analog roll, but there's no way to unload that layer. The 
inner and outer ring bindings don't work on gyro analog. So the only way to unload that layer is through a separate binding. It can't be something in the gyro action. So that's just... That would be something that I would love to see, is if we could bind an analog threshold, an analog... Kind of like how we have the, uh, like this, this new, uh, the analog activator on the triggers where you can change left trigger to be right stick up or, you know, you're able to swap out some analog actions. It would be great if you could get that to apply to the tilt, but that is neither here nor there. Really, I just kind of wanted to just bring this up and mention it just because it, it is something that has come up a lot. And as I was thinking about it, I realized that I probably am in the unique position that I get a lot of feedback of what works and what doesn't. So people that have been with me through the years know that I'm always pushing the contextual actions. Like, just, uh, like, for re reload is a good example. Like, I had, this is a slightly older profile. So I had right trigger full pull as kind of like a deliberate a deliberate action that you're reloading. Then I had switched it to a fast tap of the left trigger, which isn't in this profile. Now, what I'm doing that I'm really enjoying is the full pull left trigger flick up with that gyro directional swipe kind of a whoosh. Or no, wait, what was the... I started coming up with some onomatopoeia languaging. It was a hyuk. Hyuk. I can't... Not a thunk. I think it was a hyuk. Hyuk. But that's feeling really good to me so far. I haven't gotten a whole lot of feedback. I think people are sometimes struggling with that. Maybe because it's dependent on dual stage triggers, which is something that people struggle with in general. Just... I've not had a problem because I'm pretty soft on the triggers. So I... You know, I always stop at this before the digital click. So I can doop, flick up, and reload. But yeah, it's like I I understand if you're you're hopping into this profile and immediately it's like what the why the hell? Why am I leaning? It's like no, the controller's not broken. You just aren't aware that there's there is a tilt binding that's independent of yaw and pitch for the gyro. Like, wee yaw. Woohoo, pitch. I'm never rolling it when I'm looking around. Roll it. And that's something just while I'm in here. You can, I mean, obviously you could just take them off. But if it's a problem, crank that up. So now, Look how far I have to roll. Whoa! Yeah. And that's it. That's um. That's the end. That's the end of class for today. The end of the lecture. Everybody can get out early. Even with the Steam input, with a uh, client updates. Why doesn't Valve just make a quick little video, like explaining this new gyro stuff? showing you what you can do with it. Which, I mean, I guess I'm asking them to do what I do, but I, I feel like they should, or at least much more in detail explain what these new features do, what all the features of Steam input actually do. I've been using it for five years, three months, and some of it is still kind of confusing to me. The languaging of it, like... How do you make an inner ring? Oh, well you make an outer ring and invert it, instead of just having an inner ring. Or if you want an inner ring, it can be a soft press with a lower threshold, like, inverted. What? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Why? Now, now I'm just really getting off on a tangent about how obvious it is that they're engineers who don't test this stuff with 
non-gamer, non-engineer developer folk. Because a lot of it is very confusing. But this one is just more... It's like, yeah, people just didn't know about that tilt. Isn't that a crazy thing? That's it. Hi. You hungry? Looking for a tempting treat? Hold on till I absorb some heat. Some added tang might please you too. I'll slide into an oven fresh bun. And I'm ready for your eating fun. Why don't you try a juicy good hot dog? Mmm, delicious.